step into the world of classic television with the 1951 series Dragnet. Starring well-known Hollywood actors, the show takes you on a no-nonsense journey through crime investigations. Wondering which classic actor stood out for you? Get ready for a roller coaster of emotions because Dragnet isn't just about solving crimes. It's filled with funny, shocking, and sad facts that will keep you hooked. Have you ever come across any lesser-known anecdotes about the series that left you fascinated? But that's not all we want to hear your stories and memories related to the show. Share your personal experiences in the comments below. Your engagement adds a unique touch to this timeless TV series. So, who's your favorite classic Hollywood actor from the show? Any fascinating facts caught your attention? What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to it? We're all ears. Stay tuned for more interesting facts about Dragnet and keep those comments coming. Your stories make this journey even more memorable. Get ready for a ride through the classic era of television. Embarking on its journey 65 years ago, Dragnet holds a significant place in the history of police dramas. The TV series, known for its groundbreaking approach and authenticity, was created by Jack Webb in collaboration with the Los Angeles Police Department. It provided viewers with a realistic glimpse into the daily lives of police officers and detectives. Since its first episode, the show gained widespread acclaim and developed a devoted fan base that remains strong today. Innovating the genre, Dragnet based most of its episodes on real cases, showcasing the complexities of modern police work. The collaboration with the LAPD added authenticity, making the series stand out for its realism. The success of Dragnet extended beyond TV, leading to the release of a full-length theatrical feature in 1954. Starring Jack Webb as Sergeant Friday and Ben Alexander as Detective Frank Smith, the film made history as the first TV series adapted into a motion picture, achieving significant box office success. A revival of Dragnet happened in 1987 with a second theatrical feature featuring Dan Aykroyd and Tom Hanks. This further solidified the show's lasting legacy. The series served as a platform for actors like Lee Marvin, Robert Vaughn, Leonard Nimoy, and others who went on to achieve successful careers. Notable for its recurring actors like Virginia Gregg and John Stephenson, known as Jack Webb's regular players, Dragnet set the standard for future police dramas. Even after 65 years, its influence persists, marking it as a cornerstone in television history. In conclusion, the 65th anniversary of Dragnet is a celebration of a timeless classic that began on radio, seamlessly transitioned to television, and continues to captivate audiences. Cheers to the lasting impact of Dragnet on police dramas. Step into the gritty world of crime solving with Joe Friday and his partners in the classic TV series. Using the radio call sign 1K80, they navigated the tough streets with 1 for police headquarters, K for investigative services, and 80 as their unit number. A unique feature in many episodes was the use of the color orange. From tangerine to burnt pumpkin, this bold hue adorned the clothing of both men and women spanning various skin tones. Contrary to common belief, Joe Friday never uttered the famous phrase, just the facts, ma'am. Instead, the actual line was, all we want are the facts, ma'am. It's a subtle distinction that adds nuance to Friday's straightforward approach. In its groundbreaking 65-year journey, the show became a pioneer in police dramas. Jack Webb's collaboration with the Los Angeles Police Department brought authenticity to the series, offering viewers a realistic portrayal of police work. The show's success extended beyond television with a 1954 theatrical feature, making it the first TV series adapted into a motion picture. Revived in 1987 with a second theatrical feature, it continued to leave a lasting mark. Stars like Lee Marvin, Robert Vaughn, Leonard Nimoy, and others found their footing in this series, becoming key players in its legacy. Recurring actors such as Virginia Gregg and John Stephenson contributed to its enduring influence. As we celebrate the 65th anniversary of this timeless classic, let's salute it for setting the standard in police dramas. Its significance remains clear, marking it as a cornerstone in television history. In the 1960s, Stan Freeberg, known for spoofing popular 45 RPM recordings, aimed to create a satire of a well-known crime series. However, getting permission to use the distinctive theme music proved challenging. Jack Webb, the series creator, was notably protective of the theme. Despite initial roadblocks, Freeberg approached Webb directly, presenting St. George and the Dragon Net. 
This unconventional move not only had him in stitches, but also earned Freeberg the coveted permission to use Dragnet's theme. The second season faced a unique challenge with the untimely death of Barton Yarborough, who portrayed Friday's original partner, Ben Romero. This unfortunate event led to a shuffle in the cast, creating a strain on the filming schedule. Several adjustments follow would until Ben Alexander assumed the role of Friday's new partner, Frank Smith. The show persevered through these changes, demonstrating its resilience in adapting to unforeseen circumstances. A quirky yet fascinating detail lies in Joe Friday's badge number, mirroring the number of Babe Ruth's career home runs in Major League Baseball. This numerical homage took on added significance when the LAPD retired the badge number following Jack Webb's passing, creating a lasting tribute to the show's creator. These anecdotes offer a glimpse into the behind-the-scenes dynamics of the series, showcasing its ability to navigate challenges while maintaining its distinct identity. The unique blend of humor, resilience, and subtle nods adds layers to the show's history. Following Joe Friday's 65-year journey in the world of crime-solving, notable aspects shed light on the series' unique trajectory. Upon the demise of Jack Webb, the LAPD officially retired the badge number 714, previously donned by Joe Friday in the series. This number held sentimental value as it originally belonged to Lieutenant Dan Cook, a close friend of Webb. This gesture immortalized the connection between the character and the real-life officer. Jack Webb's foray into storytelling extended beyond television with the release of his book, The BADG. The book featured stories considered too controversial for adaptation in the TV series, delving into themes like violent murder, rape, and child molestation. While the show hinted at such topics, the book provided unfiltered narratives, showcasing a darker side often omitted for television standards. In an unexpected turn, Chesterfield Cigarettes' financing of an anthology series titled Chesterfield Presents in 1952 offered Jack Webb crucial production time. This series alternated with Dragnet, allowing Webb to navigate the sudden death of Barton Yarbrough, Friday's original partner, shortly after the initial broadcast. This collaboration provided a buffer during a challenging period, highlighting the intricacies of production dynamics. Navigating through the show's evolution, it's worth noting that Jack Webb's protective stance towards the theme music became evident when Stan Freeberg sought permission for a satire. Despite initial challenges, Freeberg's unconventional approach in presenting St. George and the Dragon Net directly to Webb secured the desired permission. This incident showcased the interplay between humor and seriousness within the series' behind-the-scenes dynamics. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes, from badge retirements to controversial stories and unexpected collaborations, offer a deeper understanding of Dragnet's multifaceted journey. The series' ability to tackle challenges head-on while maintaining its distinct identity adds layers to its history, reflecting resilience and adaptability.